Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how to create this advanced path or movement visualization on a map. You can use this technique to visualize the movement of people, data, traffic, information, and so many other things. This tutorial was inspired by this Johnny Harris YouTube video, The Most Important Country You Have Never Heard About. I created a similar tutorial around this video some weeks back, so if you like to see that, the link will be in the description below. For this video, I will be using this map right here. You can use any map you like, it doesn't matter. So before we start, kindly support our channel by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. That is all we ask. For this tutorial, we are going to be using the text animator for this animation. It sounds odd, right? That was my exact thought when I learned about this too. The first thing we are going to do is to click on our text tool here, then type one period. Here is my text settings. I will be using New Times Roman font. Next, click on the text layer dropdown, then click on the text dropdown, hold Alt, and then click on the source text keyframe icon to reveal the expression panel. Then, at the end of the expression already given to us, type dot repeat with open and close parentheses. Then in between the parentheses type 10. So instead of typing each of the characters manually, this expression will repeat a single character by the number of times we type here. Next, we are going to add a slider that will enable us to adjust the number of characters instead of doing it inside the expression panel. This is only necessary if you will be making a lot of changes to the number of characters. For a more detailed tutorial on this technique, check out this tutorial from School Motion Design. So next, go to Effects, go down to Expression Controls, and select Slider Control. Now we have our Slider Control under our Effect Controls. You can also find it here under the Layer Effects. In the Slider Control number, type 100, then also go to the Expression and change the number to 102. Next, highlight the number 100 in the Expression, then take the Source Text Pick Whip and parent it to the Slider Control. Now we can use the slider control to increase or decrease the number of characters in the layer easily. Next, I will draw a nice curvy mask like this. Make sure it is a mask and not a shape. Then click on the text path options drop down, then change it from none to mask one. Now we have our characters aligned to the mask. Next, increase the slider control number to 3000. Now you can see from our bounding box size that our character has increased. You can also see it better when I toggle on the draft 3D. Next, I am going to click on Animate, then select Position. Then under Animator 1, I am going to leave the X position as 0, and then increase the Y position to 60. Next, click on Add, then go to Selector and pick Wiggly. Now you can see that our characters are Wiggly already, but we still need to make a few changes. Click on the Wiggly dropdown and change the following settings. Change the Wiggle per second to 0.7. Change the correlation to 10%. Increase the Spatial Phase to 60. Turn on the Lock Dimensions. Finally, increase the Random Seed to 90. This setting will make all the characters wiggle more randomly. Next, go to the path options and click on the drop down. Move your time indicator to the beginning of your timeline. Then set a keyframe for the first margin and change the number to 4000. Then move your time indicator to 20 seconds. Then change the first margin to minus 500. Then finally, you can use another mask to mask out our in and out points. Then you can add any other effects and settings to suit your video needs. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.